What is going on guys, it's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a very special video. Today we've got the Mini Recruit from Ready Made RC. This is quite the model right here. It is a plug and play mini wing uh, for $70 and it's stabilized too. So I'm really excited uh, to see this thing go. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and get all the components out of the box here. We got stickers, we got stripes, we got things like that. We got some winglets right here. We've got our two little mini wings here. We've got a prop, and we've got our carbon fiber spar. So yeah, I'm just going to get through this so we can uh, make this nice and short video for you guys. Um, but it looks like that is sealed, so I'm going to get my box cutter. Open that up. Here's one wing. Looks like we got little 4.5, 3.7. I'm not totally sure. Small servos. And there is a larger version of the Recruit, however, I opted for this mini one because um, it's going to be a better option, I think, uh, just for these tighter spaces um, and maybe just FPV in general. I'm not totally sure, but you can also see I picked up a Lemon RX satellite with some diversity um, in there, which is going to give a, a little bit more um, better signal. It's just a little satellite here. Um, we don't need that because this is a control board um, operated plane. And so, let's open this thing up. There's that. Let's get our other wing. Here, it looks like this one doesn't need opened. There we go. All right. So, looks like we got all the parts to make a pretty quick and easy build out of this. Shouldn't take too long. Um, looks like the winglets just glue onto the sides, just like that. And the center fuselage should go together pretty easily. So I'm going to pull off my hatch here. Looks like we got our control board right there. Then we've got our little FPV system out. And I've got an FPV system I'm going to put on this in a later video. Um, but for now, this is what we're going to um, work with right here. Uh, we got an XT60 on this, which is going to be nice and uh, usable for this. Obviously, a lot of mini planes these days come with like JSTs um, or XT30s, but I run XT60s on all my planes, so that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and find our little um, areas so we can get this all put together. I need my hardware pack uh, right here. So, wing goes in just like that to start off this build. Just like that, looks like there's a, a gluing process needed for this. Would have been nice if there was this th thumb screw. I think, in, I don't know. Doesn't look like, yeah, you have to put the spar in here. It's not a, not a thumb screw like the bigger recruit is. So thumb screw in just like that. Sorry if this video seems all over the place. I'm just trying to get this thing built. Um, obviously, they do have um, more of a detailed thing about building this plane. I'm a little bit on their website, so if you guys are interested in something like that, then go ahead and check that out on their website. I'll have it linked in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this plane built here, and then we can talk about it before we take it out for a flight. Alright guys, so as you can see, I finished up the build for the ready-made RC Recruit. It took me about half an hour total, and you can see I actually didn't add any decals here. Um, I wanted that stealth black look. However, on the bottom, just for line of sight orientation purposes, I put the striping that is included um, just in this design. I know that's not how it was designed to go on there, uh, but I think this looks really nice, um, at least for the moment. Um, but most of the flying with this is probably going to be FPV, so I'm not really too worried about that. You can see I also added the decals that are the racing checkers um, on the winglets here, and I think that looks nice as well. 
well. So yeah, solid build overall. Um, it is my first ever plug and play or just store-bought brand new plane in general. Uh, the Champ back there you can see um, that I got a few days ago um, is my very first actual non-scratch build airplane. Um, but I bought that one used off eBay. So I'm really happy with this so far. It's a perfect sky size for um, you know just throwing it in the car, having some fun, uh, you know, tight spaces. I think this is going to be an excellent option as well as you'll see in a second this motor has some serious power to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and open the, up the hatch and see what we got going on in there. You can see we got the magnet. Um, I really like that as a nice touch. We also have the magnetic nose cone for the FPV camera systems. Um, but we've got the 1300 milliamp hour 45C uh, battery from Tattoo in here. It barely fits in this uh, little central cavity area, but it does. Um, it's going to be a big puzzle when I go to get FPV and gear in here because obviously, you know, it's just not all completely fitting um, perfectly at the moment. And all my uh, receiver, Air 6210, is right on top of the FC board. It wouldn't fit anywhere else. I'm going to kind of tack it down in place um, or I'll just try to get that satellite working again, like I said. Um, the ESC is kind of draping around in here. And yeah, it, it works for the moment, but when we start putting transmitters and other excess little ex auxiliary batteries, um, I'm gonna be a little concerned, but either way, we're gonna figure it out. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing on. You'll see how it starts up. So, you can see that it's blinking right now, and now we are in uh, the stabilized modes. So, right now, this is our 3D mode. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hatch on so none of my components spill out right here. But we got obviously right here, gotta give it some throttle to initiate uh, the uh, stabilization there. But you can see if you flip it over, Every time you find that 90 degrees, it's going to recenter up with itself. So once you got that, um, that's going to be your self-leveling mode. So as you, you know, go, it's going to be finding its fastest way to level. And you can see that our control servers are leveling out. You can hear the gyros working in the servos. Um, then we got our 2D mode, which is going to be kind of a takeoff assist, but it's basically just going to um, keep you uh, flying smooth and straight rather than self-leveling you completely as if you are doing a bank. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not that bad, um, but I'm probably going to be flying most of the time in this acro mode. Obviously, you can hear no gyros. It's pretty much perfect um, manual flight there. Um, but yeah, overall, I think these gyros are going to be interesting to work with, especially learning to do FPV on this plane um, is going to help it a lot because obviously I want to have less things to worry about when I'm piloting this machine. So yeah, uh, let's give it some throttle now. This thing has serious power. <laughs> It's nice and loud. We've got a four, five by four five prop on there. Um, I'm going to do some investigation, and of course, if this comes down cool, I will be tempted to go ahead and upgrade this to a 5152 high speed prop that you see on a lot of my other planes back there. But yeah, I'm really excited about this thing. Can't wait to get it up in the air. So that's the next thing we're going to do in the next video. Uh, but thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and build, as well as the initial thoughts on the ready-made RC um, mini recruit. I'm sorry if you couldn't see it. I probably should not have worn a um, black hoodie today with this black plane. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please go ahead and show your support. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below if you have questions or comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.